Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Celebrity Cars. Check it out. 1965 Ford Ranchero with a small black V8 in it. Now listen, this isn't a show winner, folks, okay? But it's a great cruiser. It's kind of sort of fast. It is. Uh, and uh, it looks awesome. It really looks great. It's got a couple imperfections in it. Uh, probably some surface rust. Um, it drives terrific. I've driven it all over the Las Vegas Valley. It's, uh, it's a really awesome car. Welcome to Celebrity Cars, folks. We're located right off the strip, right off of the strip uh, in Las Vegas, uh, halfway between Summerlin, Nevada and Henderson, Nevada. We got a whole bunch of classics, muscle cars, antique cars, exotic cars. Come check us out sometime, especially when you're in town. So. Uh, what, what we have going on here, we changed our rules here a little bit at Celebrity Cars. Uh, we used to walk around the car for five minutes with a video and call it quits and put it on the internet and then uh, hopefully you're interested. Well, these days lots of people don't want to get on a plane. They don't want to get off the couch. They don't want to leave the office. We completely understand. So we've taken these extra steps and measures to go over cars kind of sort of from top to bottom. Uh, so as if you were here, if you're super interested in one of our cars. So that's what I'm doing. So welcome. Um, back to the car. It's green. It's all one color. There's some minor dings in it. Uh, there's no slams. It's straight. The doors open and close really nicely. They're all lined up. The glass is in good shape. A couple little watermarks in the glass, but uh, uh, the glass is in fabulous shape. The wheels are so cool with the dog dish hubcaps. I can't get enough of those. Uh, the chrome, almost all the way around, although some nicks and scratches, it hasn't faded anywhere. Um, uh, uh, let's see what else is next. <clears throat> There's a couple uh, uh, paint chips that were covered up. You're gonna find a couple once you get it home and in your garage that you're gonna wanna use your favorite green that matches to cover it up. Uh, some of them, of them uh, existing on the car have been tastefully done, some of them have not. Once again, I mentioned this is not a, you know, A plus number one condition show winner. I don't know what number I would give it, but we're going to go over it together <laughs> and we're going to determine that. But uh, I've seen, I've spent a lot of time with this car. It's solid. It drives straight. The brakes are they're the old drum brakes. They're, they haven't been upgraded or anything. So you, you slam on the brakes. You got to, you know, it's going to take a second to slow down, but they work properly. Uh, 1965, that's what the brakes braking system was, period. Um, uh, and uh, with these drum brakes all the way around. So you, you almost put your foot to the floor. Uh, but I mean, these, these will stop you the harder you get on them. They work great, period. Um, the wheels are all in fabulous shape. The O rings. The front bumper, as you're looking at it right now with me, now there was some mild customization done. These cars were all born pretty much with bench seats. Uh, somebody wanted to put some customized uh, seats in it, probably in the late 80s, early 90s, and they're still in there. Um, they could be better, but they're very comfy, and the steering is wonderful. It's just a good car. So, okay, enough babble about the car. Let's give a real look-see at the car. So we always like to start at the front. So we're going to let the camera do most of the work here. Um, if you could look inside the grill, you see the beautiful green paint that's in there. You can see it wasn't sprayed with the fan shroud in there. Um, you know, there's no overspray going on. It almost, you know, appears stock, but it's not. We have no idea when it was painted before. Um, but uh, it's an older paint job for sure but it all really uh, shines and looks in a good condition. There's a little bit of uh, surface rust uh, going around the, uh, this uh, blinker over here, uh, but it's just surface rust and, uh, and it could be cleaned up probably a bit more uh, in your own garage with your own products. But the front bumper is straight. There's no big dents or dings in it. Uh, I'm not gonna tear it apart. I'm letting the video really do, it, uh, do the work for itself. <clears throat> this chrome is nice and shiny while you're there at that angle. Look up to this chrome. This chrome is not so shiny. But you know what? I think if you grabbed some really good uh, metal polish, this would shine up really nice. Uh, I don't know how difficult it is to find these grills, but I'm sure it is. 
and uh, this one is in really, really nice shape. I will say uh, this is connected here, and this is, uh, come on over here over my right shoulder there if you could. You could see how this is disconnected. It does not look broken, it just looks disconnected. It could be broken, but I really think it's just disconnected from this side. So maybe something had pressed up against here at one point, but you can really barely tell. I, I feel bad if even, you know, see if I pull this out, folks, towards it, it, it lines right up just like the other one, but it just bends back a little. So this car just needs some adjustments. You could be really picky about it. I mean, it is a Ford Ranchero after all. <laughs> Uh, but so forgive, forgive me if, for saying that. Um, <laughs> uh, but all the light, lights look good. Uh, once again, this chrome just needs a, an extra polish, your, your metal polish at home, and it should look great. I'm going to get out of the way. We're going to move on to the paint on the hood and on the top of these fenders. Now look, uh, um, I, I, I really have nothing to say. It looks terrific. You can see via your camera. Does it need a, a heavy polish? Sure, <clears throat> um, maybe, a, maybe a clay bar, but I, I want you to hear this because it's always hard to tell. Come on over here while it's quiet. Oh, as a Porsche drives away. We'll do this one more time. You don't hear a whole lot of with over, you know, that you normally get with uh, overspray cars. There's a little bit more, but this is very smooth. The whole surface of the paint is smooth, but you know what? It could be a lot smoother. Clay bar, some polish, some wax, and this will gleam, this car will gleam like you wouldn't believe. It hasn't been done yet, we just got it in. So, uh, but uh, it's already very shiny. I'm sure that the film, the camera has caught it plenty. If you come over here actually at this uh, angle, you're gonna have a, a shine problem. I'll try to block it, I'll put my hand up. But look at the angle. There's just minor swirls in the paint. Um, and, uh, but I mean, that kind of stuff, I'm, I'm, I'm beating the paint to death here. Come on, I'm just trying to be honest. That's what I'm here for. But, and I don't mean to pick it apart that much, but uh, you could be on the other side of the planet and you really like uh, Ford Rancheros and you like green. So uh, I'm just trying to get down to the details here. That's what we do here. Okay, um, I, there are no heavy chain paint chips. I don't got nothing to share with you up there. Let's work our way down the driver's side. Um, are we okay with light here? We're good? Okay, good. We have, uh, this is where you'd also like to take that uh, polish to these, uh, 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 the, the trim down the side of the car. These are in fabulous shape. They're not all dinged up, they're not all warbled. They look great, all the way around the whole car, these trim pieces are in fabulous shape. I can only imagine what a set of these would cost all by itself. They're, they've gotta be expensive. Okay. We're gonna work our way down. We're already, we're, we, you can spend some time looking at these wheels and tires. Don't forget to go to celebritycars.com if you haven't seen it yet. That's where you'll find out the description about all the details about this car. I'm just going over the condition. But these wheels are, are, are awesome. I have lots of things I wanna say, but it'd be swear words. Okay, <clears throat> let's work our way down the front. Of, I, I got a small chip right here, folks. A little ding right in here. This is a mentionable here. I'm going to mention that. It's, uh, it's right there. It had some touch-up paint done on it. It was done very well. Don't know how it got there, but there it is. Um, the chrome molding down here, too, all the way down the side. You could throw some polish on it, sure, but it's wonderful. It's in great shape. I'm going to run my finger all the way down. I feel a little bit of surface rust right here, okay, right where my finger is. I'm going to continue. Maybe a smidgen more right here. I'm gonna continue. Yeah, uh, paint's coming off down here. Hold on, let's, let's look. Let's look together. Nah, just a little bit of paint's coming off the bottom down here. That's nothing. I'm gonna run my fingers back there just to make sure that I wasn't calling paint coming off. Rust. Yeah, all right, pay attention. This, this isn't rust. Okay, it's just some uh, leftover paint that's uh, uh, that just kind of sort of flaked off. This is all in great shape down here. It's painted. Oh, okay, yes. All right, nope, I retract. Right here, just this little joint right here. So a little bit of surface rust under uh, uh, right here uh, uh, underneath this molding. Okay, don't freak out. It's not terrible. I told you this wasn't a, a beautiful car. Okay. Or a perfect car. It is beautiful in its own way. Okay, uh, small paint chips right here. 
super small, super small, finger down the rest of the way, no, no bubbling. Nope. All looks good. Okay, let's work our way down the rest of the way. Paint, paint all looks good, trim looks good. Some minor scratches in the trim, but you're gonna polish them up. Okay, okay, okay. A couple little indentations in the paint, but all paint, all, uh, all, all nice and beautiful green. All nice and beautiful green. Now look, uh, maybe your video's, uh, the video's picking up a little bit of a, a, like an orange peel. It's really mild, it's not crazy, okay? <clears throat> Let's conquer this whole, while we have the light directed the way we do, up here. All this chrome, even the screws, are all clean. Uh, there's no surface rust. There's no ugliness all the way up along here. Uh, we had our detailers hit this back window extra because it had some watermarks in it. It still has some really mild watermarks in it, but it's beautiful, smooth. It's all nice and clean. It's in great shape. Let's look at the roof. The roof is all one big piece of beautiful green paint. Once again, needs a polish needs a clay bar, and boy, I can only, I almost want to do it myself. Um, it'll really shine up nice now that I, we have it out here in the sunlight. I'm gonna follow you and come over to your side looking at the hood the whole time. And uh, like I said, uh, the, you know, they need a little bit of polish on here as well. Nice, beautiful green. Okay. Now, since we're in the sunlight over here on this side, I wanna point out this uh, trim again. <clears throat> minor imperfections, couple little watermarks. It needs your polish and it'll look beautiful, okay? Just so you know. All right, it says 289 on the fender. Yeah, it says 289. Yep, looks like a 289, but we don't know if it's a 289 or not. I'm just letting you know. It's a small block, small block uh, V8. We're gonna look at that in a couple minutes, but uh, you know, there you go. It looks good. All right, the trim molding, uh, while I don't move here, all across the bottom of the car is all <clears throat> seems to be as straight as possible. A couple little watermarks on it, but other than that, it looks good. <coughs> Excuse me. All this paint along here looks terrific. The Ranchero looks terrific. Okay, now here in the middle of the door, this is one of those instances I spoke of where it was a little less tasteful in a uh, cover-up. But you know what? Um, the more I look at it, the more I think this needs some kind of a wheel. Uh, a professional detail, and you might be able to get this smoothed out a little bit more. Um, this is, was obviously a chip. Somebody put a door into it or something, and they put some touch-up paint on it, and they didn't do such a good job. I'm just calling it what it is. Uh, but I think a detailer might be able to get that down a little bit and make it look a little bit better, but it won't go away for sure. But uh, So that's going on. The rest of the paint all across here really looks good. A couple little blurbles in it. Um, but uh, nothing to get excited about. Now, down here, see that? It's called surface rust. It's not terrible, okay? Oh, and by the way, I've hit this entire car with a, uh, a magnet, and there's no Bondo going on here or anything like that. I'm gonna run my finger across the bottom like I did the driver's side. And then I better give it a look. Um, just some paint separation right here. I don't see any. I don't see any surface rust. If there is, it's super mild. But we do have some right there. Okay. All right. And working our way down. I saw a ding somewhere. Is that over on the driver's side? That might have been on the driver's side. I might have missed the ding in the shade over there. It was right around this location. But it's really mild. Okay. And uh, and that could be also that could be removed. And uh, this is, looks just like the, uh, the driver's side, folks. There might be a really small little nick right there. Got some uh, paint that needs to be corrected right along here. These things will pop off. But you get a good look at the trim molding all the way down. Look at this uh, passenger side door. Isn't that beautiful? Lines right up. By the way, this surface rust, you know, you can see as you're going away with the camera right now, it, you, you, if you're standing up here, you're not even going to see that. And let's look at the rear trunk area back here too. All of this, uh, there's a small bump in the paint right here. I'm not really sure what's going on there, but just so you know. And all of this really looks nice, folks. 
This is a great little truck. Grab this little lever back here, it drops down. I sat right here and drank my coffee this morning when I got to the showroom when it was parked inside. This is all very nice and clean. Uh, this liner is, it looks almost like it was done super recently. There's green on the screws. So, uh, got a spare tire and wheel. The tire looks to be pretty much new. You see the plates that came with the car back there. You go to celebritycars.com, there's a couple photographs of those plates. There's two of them there. And, um, Got some stuff to anchor things down. All looks good. I'm gonna look down at the uh, rear bumper here in the exhaust system and just get the, uh, cause the sun is right in my face too. This all looks great. There's no rust going on. There's some water marks that were missed down here. Um, do you mind if you came over here right in, over top of my head and looked underneath? Uh, we'll probably put this up on a lift, but I think you can see pretty well. Man, man, man this doesn't look too bad. Look at that rear end. It's kind of clean under here. I mean, it's not showroom clean, but it's it's clean. Pretty cool. Okay, so there's one glimpse of underneath. These tail, real tail, rear tail light assemblies, all in one piece. None of them are broken. I see a, a couple small nicks on the bumper right here. These need to be. Uh, these need your chrome polish. Okay, just so you know. Okay, so we adjusted the car a little bit so we could see the interior better. So once again, these are aftermarket seats. They were not done by us. We left them alone just by chance trying to fit anything else in there. Might be a pain in the butt. So, uh, so there you have it. There's a couple of abrasions on the side of the seat. Uh, I'm not really certain of where these seats came out of, but uh, everything matches inside. The seats are comfortable. The rug looks terrific. These door panels are in good shape. The paint's nice. This needs to be, uh, you know, waxed down here. Uh, but uh, other than that, everything is, is sturdy. Um, this panel's not about to fall apart. Everything works, you know, as it should. I'm gonna hop in and see if this seat goes back, just because I'm, I'm interested. Okay, that's as far back as the seat goes. And then maybe we do one of these things. Um, I'm five foot 10. I got plenty of room to cruise around in here. Oh, the dashboard looks great, folks. The headliner looks brand new. So do these. They're in, per they're in perfect shape. The headliner's in perfect shape. These visors are in perfect shape. The dashboard cover is in perfect shape and this green down below is in great shape. All this green along here, looks like we've got an aftermarket sound system in here. I have no idea if it works or not. We could play with that for a while or just leave it alone. Okay, there it works. Okay, uh, and uh, aftermarket gauges up here on the hood, which are really cool. I did notice that the gauges uh, for the car well, I don't remember if the uh, temperature gauge works or uh, I'm pretty sure the gas gauge does. Yes, the gas gauge does work. I put gas in it. This is the temperature gauge for sure. Uh, this is the voltage gauge for sure. And this is the oil pressure for the motor for sure because I've already checked those out. Glove box is a little dirty, all in one piece. It's not loose or ragged, falling apart, closes nicely. Steering wheel looks good. Somebody needed to tell somebody that this was a Ford. So that looks awesome. It starts real nice when you put your key in the ignition. We could do that together right now, even from the passenger seat. I hope it's in park. It's got a great V8 rumble to it. I can see inside the driver's side door jam over there. It looks pretty darn good. I don't see any rust going on in there and it's somewhat clean. Same as this one over here. There's speakers down below, obviously aftermarket. I don't, uh, I don't know if they make any sounds yet. We'll attempt to figure that out together. Uh, but boy, there you have it. Steering wheel's great. I've driven it. 
driver's seats. Oh, I, I do know that there's a chunk. Oh, this piece uh, disappeared somewhere along the line. Can't help you. But everything's all operable, okay? Carpet's in good shape. Looks like the floorboards are clean. There's some wiring here that goes into the back for the speakers. Um, if you get a good look at the uh, inside of the door, um, I see a couple really small little nicks from getting in and out on the door. There might be some small abrasions along here, but all these door jams, I mean, even though there's a little bit of pitting in some of this paint along here, it's all really nice and clean. And once again, I don't smell paint. This wasn't painted yesterday or a month ago. Lord knows when this was painted. Uh, you look down under here, underneath the dash, although it's a, a hair uh, cluttered, um, it's all very legible. Uh, I, don't, that, I don't see that being one bit of issue. Everything looks very clear. We got some tie wrap stuff up here. This is a neat car. It's a neat car. I've driven it. I've been I've been barking about it because I think it's really really cool. It's a really super nice cruiser, and uh, you wouldn't normally find me in one of these. That's for sure. Okay, let's pop the hood. Now this is the small block V8 we've been speaking of. You at home might have a better eye than us. We see different cars come in and out of here all the time. It says 289 on the fender. We say it might be a 302, and there you have it. So it's a small block V8, folks. You figure it out. Once again, back to the green paint. You know, this, the engine wasn't uh, in here when this car was painted. So um, this is not an original engine, we're sure of it. And uh, this car was painted while the engine wasn't in here because there's no ever spray. So whoever did this was uh, attempting to make this a very nice car. All nice and shiny green underneath. Somewhat up to date radiator. And the battery's brand new. I'm going to start it again while you're looking. How about that? Now we're going to go for a ride and we're going to put it up on a lift so you can see underneath it. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to this 1965 Ford Ranchero. Can you believe it? It's what a fantastic automobile. Great driver. I'm going to show you now what this thing is able to do um, and talk about how it brakes and how it drives along and so on and so forth. We've already touched about on it uh, earlier. But uh, we're gonna we're gonna go for a ride now. We're gonna proof is in the drive. Okay. All right. Let's see if we get this radio to do anything. Oh, there's a light. Oh, there's lots of lights. It says standby. Source tuner. Okay, I don't hear anything yet. Give us a call if you want to talk about the radio. I'm sure it just needs one or two things. A little connection's done and it would be fine. But uh, as of right now, I got all the lights on. I see fancy speakers, I see wiring, but I can't make it make any noise. So we'll get back to that. But here's your gauges up here. Uh, we'll get our temperature gauge at about 150. We've got our battery just under uh, 12 and our oil pressure is just under 60 and this thing sits here and could sit here and idle all day. It's in great shape. Uh, it looks like the miles say 58,534. I don't know if that's 158,000. Uh, I don't know if it's just 58,000. But uh, since we know the motor's been uh, replaced, um, who cares? <laughs> okay, my foot's on the brake. I'm gonna clunk down in the drive.
My foot is currently still on the brake. I'm going to let go and we're going to cruise up to about 35 miles an hour. Foot's off the brake, on the gas. Okay, we're going to use the brakes at 40 miles an hour. One, two, three. Ha! Okay, like I said, drum brakes all the way around. Uh, it stopped great. Uh, if in an emergency, uh, it will stop great for you. I could have hit the brakes a little harder, but you know, it's an old car. I didn't need to do that. It wasn't uh, necessary. Um, it sounded like the license plates in the back kind of banged up against the, uh, the back wall here that were uh, the license plates that you see pictures of on our website. But uh, what we have installed, we're still uh, sitting here at idle and everything's very comfortable. I have all the windows closed. It's kind of a cool day. I wanted to keep them closed uh, for, uh, you know, road noise and what it sounds like in here. Also, if you couldn't catch it or not, the uh, shifting of the transmission is spot on. Got a real tight uh, uh, transition from first to second gear and then uh, it takes a, a, another couple seconds for it to go into its normal drive. It all did everything wonderfully. And like I said, it's fast. I'm back on the gas, here we go. Well, you know, fast in small block fashion. My foot's back on the brake. I'll put my right turn signal on. It works. I've been driving around town. Turn signals work. Okay, off we go. Foot's on the gas. There's second. And there's third. Cruising right along, straight as an arrow. Foot's back on the brake. Right turn signal's on nice and smooth no wobble to the gas pedal no heavy rattles in here none zilch super smooth and my foot's on the brake for the final time yeah. put it in reverse for you I normally wouldn't get an excite, get excited about a car like this. Sorry, uh, 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 but this this is this is this the bomb. For under twenty thousand dollars, this is a steal. Give us a call 702-818-1030, and uh, we'll answer any of your leftover questions. But the build, everything is great, um, and uh, we hope you enjoy this car. It's it's a uh, uh, we hope you call. It would make sense if you're looking for a Ranchero. This would be the one. Good solid car. Thanks a lot.